Hello, welcome to Good Morning Euros. We are on the Euro 2022 bus. We've got Esme Karen. We've also got a beer delivery that's just happening <laughs> behind us. So if it's a little bit noisy, apologies, but we are in Manchester City Centre. Uh, this is the Euro kickoff match day. England against Austria tonight at Old Trafford. Yeah, there's lots to talk about. Uh, I mean, Serena Wiegmann will start uh, for England, well, managing, I should say, England's first match this evening. And people are talking about who she'll be picking, all right. So we've asked you two to uh, come up with your starting 11s. If you were Serena, she's probably mulling over it, over her porridge or ham sandwich this morning, <laughs> uh, thinking about who she should play. And she might be influenced by both of you. So, Karen, we're going to come to your starting 11 first looking at this one quite interesting choices uh, right here England start what strongest that? squad uh, I'd say <laughs> just because I don't know who to pick the, the oh, 23 right. player squad you can have anyone starting in that you could and this is the 11 you've gone for yeah um, I think as we've seen um, Mary Earps has started the majority of the games uh, for England under Serena Begman so um, I think you know it's a safe bet to, to say that she's probably going to start but yeah I went with bronze Bright, Greenwood, Stokes on the left, uh, Williamson in the midfield, Kira Walsh, uh, Beth Mead on the right, uh, Hempo on the left, and Tooney uh, in the 10, I went. And, um, yeah, I put down Beth England as well in the 9 because I think the last time that they played uh, Austria, she actually started as well. So I just thought with Ellen having COVID, perhaps that might be the way to go. But, yeah, I, I'm... I'm as much as I'd like to see Frank Kirby in the 10 as well, um, basically with her fitness and you know the, the amount of games that she's played recently, I think uh, Tooney might be the safer bet in terms of form. What do you think of Karen's starting 11, Esme? I think we're in agreement on quite a few of the positions. I could very much see that being the starting 11. I could very much be, see it being the players that I've picked, but um, I think... Picked. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Esme's starting 11 then. Okay, talk us through it. So, same again. Mary Oates has played pretty much every game in the lead up to the tournament, so I'd say she's a shoe in really to start in goal. Uh, Bronze Bright Green with the same. I went for Rach Daly at left back because I think. Uh, we're probably going to dominate the ball a lot more than you might expect against perceived stronger opposition. And I think Rach just offers a bit more going forward than Demi does. She's putting some really good deliveries in the warm-up games and I think she's a threat in an, um, from an attacking fullback. Um, same Williamson Walsh in midfield. Same wingers, Mead and Hemp. I went for Kirby um, in the 10, I think. Same with Ellen, really. I think their experience and the talent and... They've proven themselves on the biggest stage um, in previous tournaments gone by. So I think for me, they'll go with that experience and trust that they'll be able to produce those performances again. And if it's a case where we're comfortably in the lead, they can then make those adjustments um, based on their fitness as yeah. and when through the game. Well, you were saying, Karen, that you would think about Kirby as well in there. So you're not too far apart. Yeah, no, I think there's a lot of things that we're definitely in, in agreement. Um, you know, I think around Rachel Daly playing left back. I think Esme makes some really great points about, her, you know, Rachel's willingness to get forward and especially her history as a striker as well. You know, she's very comfortable in front of goal.